What is going on, YouTubers? Abjur Sound here from AnodicBlackspot.com right now with ATT Galaxy Note 2. Yes, that's right, that's what you're seeing in the camera right there. And uh, a while ago, somebody asked me about uh, how do you properly back up your Android? Well, I did a couple of videos on that. I did my S3 video. And now it's time for the Note 2. So I'm going to show you how I properly back up my Note 2 before I do fact, uh, warranty exchange or flash another ROM or unroot it and then root it again, do whatever I want. But this is how I back up my Note 2 fully. Keep in mind you need to be rooted for this to work. So let's go ahead and get to the process. First of all, this is stock. I'm running the clean ROM. And I know your frustration. It's been quite a while since I did a video on how to flash clean ROM. And there's already a new version, but today is the day for that too. And I'm going to do how to and a full review of that ROM too for the Note 2. So please subscribe if you haven't. And let's go ahead and find Titanium Backup, the first application that you will need in order to do this backup. Now, what are you going to do is just click in the corner and right here backup all user application plus system data run and just click the mark on the corner now you might argue with me that developer don't really recommend restoring data on the fresh rom there is correct but you know what if my ROM actually fails me or I don't like the ROM and if I have to go back and uh, my CWM again fails me, the backup. That's when I use this and uh, restore all the big data and flash the ROM that I had previously again. So in meanwhile, the data that I got from same ROM, I'm going to flash the same ROM. So it doesn't, really doesn't matter. So that's why I back up. Data and that's why I recommend you guys backing data, backing up data, and you always have choice to restore data or not restore data. That's all depending on you. But my recommendation: do not ever restore data when you're flashing a new ROM, because that just really kills the performance of the ROM and uh, gets all the file mixed up from the previous ROM and your new ROM. So I'll be back once this is finished. As you can see, I have quite a lot of application that. Titanium backup needs to back up the data. So I will be back once this gets done. Hey guys, so as you can see, it's about to be done 98%, 99 and there it goes, it finishes. Now, keep in mind, this will be time consuming. If you're going on Metra somewhere, you got extra time, go ahead and do that. And if you've got finals or something, I wouldn't recommend wasting your time backing up your phone that time because it is really time consuming. I sat on YouTube watching videos for like 10 minutes or so because my touching and backup took that long. And keep in mind, this is Note 2 which got the quad core processor, so it's supposed to be faster than your regular Android. Another application that you're gonna need is the Super Backup, which backs up your SMS. And your context so if you are dumb and don't sync your context with your Google account then this is for you go ahead and back up those contacts if you want same way I'm gonna back up my SMS MMS and everything so just press backup and this is the folder it's gonna be in I'm just gonna name something today it's 16th so I'm just gonna put 16 16 so January 16 so just press ok and it's done just like that if you want to email your backup you can do that too but I really don't want to do that then hit back button again and these are the stuff you can back up in that application too so I'm gonna press the home button and now we have finally backed up all your application or your SMS if you wanted your contacts and your login account and all that comes 
included in the data so thank you Tatiana Becker for doing that for us now I'm gonna boot into the recovery and back up the whole system now after doing the Tatiana back I would recommend I recommend boot, uh, rebooting the phone but I really don't mind doing it right now because I'm just gonna boot into recovery so press ok and if you got Krakumar or team with recovery backing up system is the same way there is a backup button just press on it and you're set you got two choices to back this one up in your external or internal SD card so again just go to backup and restore and uh, this one will back up into I think your external or internal and this is your external backup to external if you want to do that so advanced restore means you could restore a uh, kernel from one backup if you want you can delete backup from external sd card too so i'm gonna back up actually into my external sd card but it can't really mount it so I'm just gonna press backup and there you go i do have about five gigabyte of free space so which won't be necessary for this backup to happen because it's gonna be about a gigabyte of backup because this is a note and just like its size of the screen the backup file is big too so as you can see it's saying whatever it's backing up right here let me go ahead and zoom in there so you can see it better so right now it's backing up system and it, there is a bar right here that you can keep track of how much backup it, it's doing and how much longer it's gonna go there is no correct time format for this one it can take up to 20 minutes depending on your system and your files so I'm just gonna come back when this backup is about to be done just like I did with the titanium backup See you on the other side. So as you guys can see right now, it's generating the MD5 sum, which is really important in this backup if you get your files corrupted. And meanwhile, and you want to restore that backup, the recovery itself will check for MD5. And uh, it will decide if the backup is good or not. So it was quite fast for me it took only two to three minutes to finish this it's gonna go back and reboot system now and this is how you fully correctly back up your note 2 any note 2 or any of your android first of all use titanium backup to back all your application plus system data back up your sms and uh, contacts and everything else if you needed to and back up the whole system Via your custom recovery. Now, next in is your most awaited video for a while. This is Clean ROM, and feel free to subscribe. I will be uploading that soon too.